Welcome to Bedtime Astronomy. Explore the wonders of the cosmos with our soothing Bedtime Astronomy podcast. Each episode offers a gentle journey through the stars, planets, and beyond, perfect for unwinding after a long day. Let's travel through the mysteries of the universe as you drift off into a peaceful slumber under the night sky. Echoes from the universe, decoding fast radio bursts. Fast radio bursts, FRBs, are one of the most intriguing and mysterious phenomena in modern astrophysics. These brief, intense bursts of radio waves, typically lasting only a few milliseconds, have captured the attention of astronomers worldwide. Discovered relatively recently, FRBs have opened up a new window into the universe, raising more questions than answers. This narrative delves into the history of their discovery, the leading theories about their origins, and the ongoing efforts to unravel the mysteries they hold. The first fast radio burst was discovered almost by accident. In 2007, Duncan Lorimer and his student David Narkivik, while examining archival data from the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia, stumbled upon a singularly strong and brief radio pulse. This pulse, later known as the Lorimer Burst, lasted only a few milliseconds but carried as much energy as the sun emits in a day. Initially, the discovery was met with skepticism. Many believed it to be an artifact of the telescope or interference from terrestrial sources. However, further analysis confirmed its cosmic origin, igniting interest in these enigmatic bursts. In the following years, more FRBs were detected, each displaying similar characteristics, a bright, millisecond duration burst of radio waves originating from outside our galaxy. Despite their brevity, FRBs are extraordinarily powerful. A typical FRB releases in milliseconds the equivalent of the sun's energy output over days or even years. The sheer energy involved and the rapidity of these bursts suggest highly energetic and transient processes, but pinpointing their exact cause has proven challenging. One of the key features of FRBs is their dispersion measure, DM, which provides a clue to their origin. The DM measures the amount of plasma the radio waves have traveled through and higher values indicate greater distances. Many FRBs have DMs that far exceed what would be expected from sources within our galaxy, implying they come from extragalactic origins. This revelation adds to their mystery and significance, suggesting they could offer insights into the intergalactic medium and the large-scale structure of the universe. Numerous theories have been proposed to explain the origin of FRBs, ranging from the mundane to the exotic. One of the most widely discussed ideas is that they are produced by neutron stars, particularly magnetars. Magnetars are a type of neutron star with an extremely strong magnetic field. These magnetic fields are so intense that they can cause the star's crust to crack, leading to starquakes. These starquakes could release vast amounts of energy, producing the observed radio bursts. This theory gained traction when an FRB-like burst was detected from a known magnetar in our galaxy, suggesting a possible connection. Another prominent theory involves the merging of compact objects, such as neutron stars or black holes. When these massive objects collide, they release enormous amounts of energy, potentially generating FRBs. This idea aligns with the brief, intense nature of FRBs and their apparent randomness, as such mergers are rare and catastrophic events. However, 
While this theory explains the energy release, it doesn't account for the precise radio emission mechanism. More speculative hypotheses include the idea that FRBs could be signals from advanced extraterrestrial civilizations. This notion, while captivating, is considered less likely by the scientific community. Nonetheless, it highlights the diversity of thought and the broad range of possibilities being explored. The discovery of repeating FRBs added another layer of complexity to the mystery. The first repeating FRB, known as FRB 121102, was detected in 2012 and has since been observed emitting multiple bursts from the same location. This repetition rules out cataclysmic events like neutron star mergers, at least for these sources, and suggests a persistent or recurring mechanism. Repeating FRBs have allowed for more detailed study, including pinpointing their locations. For instance, FRB 121102 was traced back to a small galaxy over 3 billion light years away providing crucial context for understanding these phenomena. The identification of repeating FRBs has also led to advancements in observational techniques. New telescopes and facilities, such as the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment CHIME, and the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder ASCAP, have been instrumental in detecting and studying FRBs. These instruments can monitor large swathes of the sky, increasing the chances of catching these fleeting signals. Additionally, collaborations between observatories worldwide have enhanced the ability to follow up on detected FRBs, leading to rapid and detailed investigations. The localization of FRBs to specific galaxies has provided more clues about their origins. For example, FRB 121102 was traced to a star-forming region in a dwarf galaxy. This discovery supports the idea that FRBs could be linked to young, highly magnetized neutron stars or magnetars which are more likely to be found in such environments. The host galaxy's characteristics, such as its star formation rate and metallicity, can offer insights into the conditions that might give rise to FRBs. One of the most exciting developments in FRB research came in 2020, when astronomers detected an FRB-like burst from a known magnetar in our galaxy. SGR 1935 plus 2154. This event provided the first direct evidence linking magnetars to FRBs. The burst was much fainter than extragalactic FRBs, consistent with the idea that the intense bursts observed from distant galaxies are extreme versions of magnetar activity. This finding bolstered the magnetar hypothesis but also raised questions about why only some magnetar bursts produce FRBs and what conditions are required for such emissions. While magnetars provide a compelling explanation for some FRBs, it's possible that multiple mechanisms are at play. The diversity in FRB properties, such as differences in duration, frequency, and repetition rates, suggests that they may not all originate from the same type of source. This complexity has driven researchers to consider a wide range of models and scenarios, from exotic astrophysical objects to interactions between stars and black holes. The study of FRBs is not just about understanding their origins. It also has broader implications for astrophysics and cosmology. FRBs can be used as cosmic probes to study the intergalactic medium. As the radio waves travel through space, 
they interact with free electrons, providing a measure of the density and distribution of matter along their path. This information can help map the large-scale structure of the universe and improve our understanding of cosmic evolution. Additionally, FRBs offer a new tool for precision cosmology. By measuring the dispersion of multiple FRBs, scientists can potentially determine the Hubble constant, a value that describes the rate of expansion of the universe. Different methods of measuring the Hubble constant have produced conflicting results, a discrepancy known as the Hubble tension. FRBs could provide an independent measurement, helping to resolve this critical issue in modern cosmology. The rapid development of technology and observational capabilities is accelerating FRB research. The deployment of next-generation radio telescopes, such as the Square Kilometer Array SKA, promises to revolutionize our understanding of FRBs. The SKA, with its unprecedented sensitivity and resolution, is expected to detect thousands of FRBs, including many faint and distant ones. This massive influx of data will provide a statistically significant sample, enabling detailed studies of FRB properties, origins, and potential uses as cosmological tools. Furthermore, machine learning and artificial intelligence are playing an increasingly important role in FRB research. The vast amounts of data generated by modern radio telescopes require advanced algorithms to identify and analyze FRBs in real time. These technologies can help sift through the noise, detect new bursts, and classify them based on their characteristics. This automated approach will not only increase the efficiency of FRB detection but also enable the discovery of subtle patterns and correlations that might otherwise go unnoticed. As our understanding of FRBs continues to evolve, so too does our appreciation for the complexity and diversity of the universe. FRBs remind us that even with centuries of astronomical study, there are still many mysteries left to uncover. In conclusion, fast radio bursts represent one of the most exciting frontiers in modern astrophysics. Theories about their origins range from the plausible to the fantastical, reflecting the diversity of thought and the boundless curiosity that drives scientific inquiry. With the advent of advanced observational technologies and the continued efforts of researchers worldwide, we are steadily progressing toward a deeper understanding of these enigmatic bursts. As we probe the mysteries of FRBs, we not only seek to uncover the secrets of these fleeting signals but also to gain a broader understanding of the universe itself.